Hey guys, Tony, KD8RTT. As you can see here, got my Softrock RXTX uh, hooked up. Um, running off this sealed lead acid for power. This is one sound card, here's the other. Um, I could simplify this down to probably just this one, but didn't want to mess with it, had this working. Um, running out to my vertical outside. Um, and I spent um, probably the last hour or so trying to make contacts on phone. 20 meters. There's a lot of activity, but just no one could hear me. So I decided to try Whisper. Um, I've done. I, sh I did a video in the past on how to set up Whisper on a regular radio and use it. Um, so I'll have an annotation to that video. But really quickly, I went online and found out it's really easy um, with the new version to use an SDR. They have it all basically ready to go. Just set some basic settings. So hook that up really quickly. Um, here's the Whisper software. I've run it a few rounds. And as you can see, I've uh, picked some people up. So if you go over here to the spotter site, let me update this. You'll see I'm, I'm picking up, it's like four different stations in Europe. This is on 20 meters, um, and I'm hearing them. Um, like I said, it's only been a few rounds. Um, no one has seemed to hear me yet. Um, but... This is really quick to do, you know, really simple. The new version of Whisper natively supports the SDRs. You just got to click a few buttons, set up, select which SDR you have, um, and that's it. You don't need any crazy uh, routing software for the audio um, or anything. So, um, mine should be running one watt um, transmit, although not sure. Uh, no one's hearing me yet, but I'm going to let this run for a little while. I'll come back. Um, for a few more rounds, see if anyone uh, anyone hears me. But uh, yeah, finally got to play with the uh, soft rock, and it's a uh, this might be a neat thing to set up um, all the time, just to see band conditions and that sort of thing. Um, so, all right, guys, I'll be back in a little bit. All right, so I've let it run a little bit more, um, and it doesn't look like anyone's hearing me. Um, so I don't know if that's a problem with any settings. Um, or, you know, what it is. I remember when I first started doing Whisper on my regular radio that I even had issues where people didn't hear me for a while. So it could be band conditions, could be a lot of things. So, um, so I'm, I mean, I'm hearing people. Um, so I'll try again tomorrow. It's like 2 a.m. right now. So, um, propagation will be diff or something. I don't know. We'll try it. We'll try it again tomorrow or another day. Uh, and see what happens then. So, just pleased that it's working though. I mean, the receiver is uh, working fine. It's um, sensitive enough. Here on pl plenty of stations tonight. Um, on on uh, phone, I was just listening. I, I was hearing tons of stations from all over. A lot of uh, a lot of Europe tonight, and then you can kind of see that also on the Whisper map. Um, a lot of European stations, but yeah, I was hearing Italy a lot, and um, yeah, so. Hopefully in the future this will work, but uh, I just thought it would show some progress I made, and Soft Rock's uh, up and running. So, Alright guys, we'll see you later. 73. Alright, I just want to throw this on at the end. Um, it's the next day, <laughs> and um, I tried running it again uh, on 20 meters for a while, and you can see a lot of that. It was a 20 meter run. I wasn't really hearing anything this time. Um, I looked online, and I mean, there's activity, but I guess just where I'm in bad band conditions. So I decided to try 30 meters instead. Uh, I still don't have the low pass filter built yet for the soft rock, so I can't do 40, but 30 works. So did that. Um, as you can see, the station there, I just finished another transmit cycle. Let's see what happens. All right, so I heard another person earlier, um, but this you know was a little while ago, probably 20 minutes ago. So um, down here in South Carolina, it looks like, they're hearing me, and I was uh, just hearing them um, a little while ago, that also probably, here, let me, uh, let's change this to 30 minutes. Okay. I had my grid square incorrect for a minute there. I had one letter wrong, which threw me way down here instead of up by Cleveland. But still, I heard two stations, um, and I was heard by two stations. Or I heard a station, was heard by two stations. So, it's working, transit's working, it just must be banned conditions. So I didn't really play with any settings on the software here, but... So, yeah, it's working. It's really easy to set this up um, with the soft rock. This new version of Whisper has a mode for SDRs, and it's really quite simple. So if you've got one of these, you might want to throw it on Whisper maybe overnight or something. 
you know, always when you're not using your antenna, hook up this so you you know, monitor band conditions and upload it. Um, so, all right, uh, so I'll uh, see you guys later. Uh, maybe I'll do a video in the future on how to set it up. I mean, it's really quite easy, but maybe um, I want to do some more with a soft rock, definitely. Um, maybe I'll try some other digital, some PSK or something, and see what happens. But all right, guys, I'll uh, catch you later. Seventy three.